In this video, I will be teaching you how to find the sum of terms of an arithmetic sequence. So let's say you are tasked to find the sum of the first five terms of this sequence. You have 8, 12, 16, 20, and 24. And yeah, since this is an arithmetic sequence, then there must be a common difference. So the common difference for this is uh, positive 4 because it, it is 8 plus 4, 12 plus 4, 16, 16 plus 4, 20, and so on. So that means to generate the sequence, to generate this arithmetic sequence, you need to add 4 starting from 8. And to find the sum of the first five terms, so that means we're going to add the first term, the second term, third term, fourth term, up to the fifth term. So let us solve the S5 or the sum of the five terms. So we have we add all the five terms and then the sum of this is 80. So that's how simple it is. So how about this? You're tasked to find the sum of the first 100 terms. So with the given the same given sequence, so this is the first term up to the fifth term, and you're gonna add from there up to the hundred terms, the hundred term, and we don't even know what's the last term. So it takes a lot of time for us to do it manually, and the best way to find the sum is to get the general formula on finding the sum of an arithmetic sequence. So let us derive the formula. In general, the arithmetic sequence looks like this. We have the first term or the a sub 1 and the second term will be the first term plus the common difference and the third term will be the first term plus twice of the common difference and so on. So it's going to be the same procedure so it's just, just the first term plus uh, multiple of the common difference and if we will do the reverse we're gonna let's say we're gonna start from the last uh, term let's say we have an uh, we have 100 terms for example so it's gonna be a sub 100 and we will generate the sequence in a backward direction so instead of plus the common difference it's gonna be minus the common difference so that's the term before the last term and next will be uh, the last term minus twice the common difference and at some point they are going to be to meet if you are going to do simultaneously from the first term and also starting from the last term so at some point in the middle this sequence will connect and it will form the whole sequence now if we are going to add because we are trying to find the sum of the whole term from the first term a sub 1 up to the the last term a sub n if we're going to pair this the first term and the last term it will be the a sub 1 plus a sub n or the first term plus the last term now if we want to, to pair or to, 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 to add the second term and then and the term before the last term so notice that if we combine this, it's going to be the D, the positive D, or the common difference, and the negative D will become 0. So it will be cancelled if, if we combine them. So what's left is A sub 1 plus A sub n. And also the third term plus the, uh, the term before, twice before the, uh, the last term. So you are going to remove or cancel the 2D and the minus D. M minus 2d so what's left is a sub 1 plus a sub n the first term plus the last term and you are going to do it repeatedly up to the middle until all the pairs are paired so you will keep having this a sub 1 plus a sub n so what does it mean by this if you combine all these terms because it's just simply repeating a sub 1 plus a sub n so the sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is equal to a sub 1 plus a sub n times the number of pairs. So how many pairs are there? So since there are n terms, because it's a sub n, that's the last term, so it will tell you how many terms. The n will tell you how many terms. 
So since there are n terms, and we want we want to find how many pairs there are, so it will be half of the n terms because it's paired. So there are half of the n terms of a sub one plus a sub n. So this is the formula to find the sum of an arithmetic uh, sequence. So let us go back to this and solve the the sum of the 100 terms. So we have the the formula, and let us change the n into 100 because there are 100 terms. So we want to find the sum of the first 100 terms and change n by 100. So we have 100 over 2 is equal times uh, the first, ter first term a sub 1 plus the 100 term, which is the a sub 100. And we cannot solve it yet because we don't know the a sub 100 or the last term. So let us solve it. So let us use this formula to find the last term of an arithmetic sequence. So we have a sub 100 plus substitute the, I mean equals, substitute the first term, which is 8 plus on n minus 1 or 100 minus 1 times the common difference which is 4 so let's continue so we're gonna subtract 100 minus 1 it's 99 and then multiply 99 and 4 it will be 396 then get the sum so that's the last term it's 404 now we can continue our sum of the first 100 terms so let us substitute the first term is 8 and the last term is 404. So let's continue. Uh, let's let's remove first all the writings to have some more space. So let's copy the last part and let's continue. So 404 plus 8 is 412. Then divide 100 by 2, it's 50. 50 times 412, it's 20,600. And that is the sum of the first 100 terms of that sequence. So let's have another example. We have find the sum of the first of the terms from the third up to the 20th term of this given sequence. So this is an arithmetic sequence with a common difference of uh, 6 or positive 6 because it's 5 plus 6, 11. 11 plus 6 is 17, 17 plus 6 is 23, and so on. And so, we want to find the sum from the third up to the 20th term. So this is the first up to the fifth term, and we don't know the 20th term. Now, what makes it different from the previous one is the so we want to find the sum starting from the third term up to the 20th term. So this is... Uh, an example of not starting from the first term and we want to find the sum so how to do it so you are going to relabel the terms instead of 5 as the first term up to the 29 as the fifth term we're gonna change it but instead the third term will be now the first term because we're gonna find the sum of the from the third up to the 20th term so we're gonna assume that the third term is your first term so that means we are removing the 5 and 11 from the sequence. And now that now the last term or a sub 20 will not it become it will not anymore as a sub 20 but instead a sub 18. Because since we need we remove two terms so instead of 20 terms it's now 18. And then we're going to find the last term. So it will change 18 into n and substitute a sub 1 is 17 and n is 18 minus 1 and this, the common difference is 6 that's 18 minus 1 is 17 and 17 times 6 is 102 then 102 plus 17 is 119 that's the last term now we can solve for the sum using the formula so there are 18 terms 18 halves times a sub 1 is or the first term is 17 plus the last term is 119 then we're gonna combine 17 and 119 that's 136 so let's remove all the writings and 
uh, right again to have some more space so it's here and 18 divided by 2 is 9 and 9 times 136 is 1224 so the sum of that sequence from third up to the 20th term is 1224 thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section